yes actually we do have some adult classes that are set up um, so for the um, the bartending class which we will have a local bartender come and teach individuals how to make drinks with uh, ingredients from their garden which is pretty cool mm -hmm. so that's geared towards our adults we're going to think of other ways that we can get our adults some love over here as well but for the youth farm program uh, just imagine having a bunch of little kids around here helping uh, it's it's low to the ground so that the it's easier for the kids to reach across for the teachers to be able to you know have a, a space where everybody Everybody can gather around and participate. Um, very exciting. Can't wait to see it in action. Yeah. It just in what you do, what downtown Greens does is so cool anyway. But mm -hmm. this just adds so many more layers to what you do. We can't wait to figure out what all of those layers are. It's gonna be pretty amazing. Um, but yes, it's here, and now it's just time for us to figure out all the ways that we're gonna make it even better uh, for our community. So Stay tuned. And that's and that's really is the thing. I mean, this is really for the community. Yes. And and you just think in the in the the months and the years ahead, just the memories and the and the things that will be learned out of this little kitchen. I know. Well just think about it. Okay, so this is what was really special to me. You have a child that's participating in the youth farm program who may not have tried a vegetable before. So you're in the garden, you're working, they help to grow this vegetable, you know, but they've never seen it before and they've never tasted it. And you know, how cool is it to just walk right over here and be like, you know what, let's cook it. Let's let you have a try of that, yeah. you know? Let's, what would you like to do? Let's saute it, let's boil it, let's fry it, you know? Because, um, I mean, the ladies, along with the kitchen, they have a, a, an assortment of appliances just to make cooking out here easy. Um, the induction units, the uh, food processor, the blender, the crock pot, um, you know, just, just everything that's needed, the air fryer, you know, yeah. just to make kids happy and to, and to show them all the things that they can do with fresh, delicious food. Was this somebody's idea? Was it yours? Well, I think it was a collection of ideas. I believe Sarah was like, hey, we need something out in the garden. You know, we're still working on the gar uh, the kitchen in our basement. Um, yeah. We had to pause on that, um, but we're hoping to get that up and going soon. You know, we're going to raise funding for that. Um, and the ladies have worked wonderfully without any kitchen uh last year because we have completely demoed the basement in preparation for the the new kitchen um and we just couldn't let them do that again this year you know and the kids deserve that too i mean last year they they got creative we had crock pots over at our other electrical unit on the on the picnic table we you know um we used other kitchen hazel hill was nice enough to let us use their kitchen so we we made do but they deserve this and the kids of, deserve it. You thought of everything. You've got, you've even got an umbrella. There's an umbrella. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Not only is the umbrella there, but it tilts. We might, we're gonna have to figure out some other. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna have to make it a little bit more secure, but we're almost there. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah. congratulations. It Thank looks, you it very looks much. Just terrific, and um, <laughs> I can't wait to see what, what, what's next. Me neither. You're gonna have to come. So the next, um, what we've got coming up on Friday is the uh, half pea hour where they're going to use peas to make some delicious cocktails that's on okay. friday this is coming friday may 19th 